In this video, we're going to be looking at these Monopost Chaos Warriors and doing a few conversions. Scruffy Crow. That is some nerdy shit right there, buddy. I like that. Okay, so as we go, the uh, changes involved are going to get a bit more complicated and a bit more involved. Uh, we're going to start with just swapping this axe head. Okay, so the the donor part is from one of these uh, halberds from the sort of crap stone of plastic chaos warriors. Uh, it's a seen better days. That's why it was selected for this. Uh, so we're going to start by taking any mold lines off. So this would have had a spike on the top here. Uh, that's being taken off. Probably used for something else. Start by smoothing that down. And this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to start with the pincers. I'm going to sniff it off his hand. And just trim that down a little bit. Now we want this to look about the same as here. So I'm going to count the notches actually. We want it to go about there. A nice neat cut. That's where it's going to sit. I'm actually going to use this nice broad file. And we're just going to use a dab of plastic cement on there. Spread it around between the two parts. I'm going to put a little bit on this tip as well. Because I think that's going to touch back into the hand. It's a little bit too much. There we go. We're just going to muddle the two bits around. Oh, there we go. I can feel them starting to melt. Make sure all the angles look okay. So straight on that axis. Straight on that axis. And there we go. Conversion number one pretty much complete. Okay, numbers two and three are going to be a bit more involved. We're actually going to give these guys halberds. So I'm going to start by tidying up the donor weapons. I'm going to take the weapons off at the wrists on both models. I'm going to start by cutting away into the models with the pincers and removing the old lower weapon hafts here and then pop the tops off now I'm going to go in with a knife and remove any remnants smart it up here on the leg I'm just going to sort of carve out where the uh, half used to be Okay, we're also going to carve the fingers and gauntlets, gauntlets off the donor weapons just very carefully coming down the haft here trying not to damage the details that are on there and then when we get to fairly close I'm going to switch to a sort of scraping method In the file, and you'll barely be able to tell where those hands were. And the same again on this one. Okay, there's my donor weapons ready to go. This is a similar process as I'd use if I was going to make a weapon rack or something like that as well, just removing the hands. Okay, this might be a bit risky and a bit crude, but I'm going to go in a snip here halfway. I'm not pushing all the way down, just very carefully and what I was aiming to do there is just loosen this top off uh, so now I'm gonna make two cuts okay so I've twisted the hand round so it's almost not attached anymore and dropped a little bit of glue in the joint and I've dropped another little feather gl glue down the, on his foot there and I've got the lower part in place uh, and now I'm gonna file this down to where I want it done a few dry fits Gonna just file it off here a little bit there. Okay, so I've got all that lined up 
and I've got the tiniest dab of glue on both sides here. And I'm just going to work them around a little bit. Just working them around and I can feel the plastic starting to melt, which I need to check all the angles. So I've not taken any length out of here. So the halberds ended up longer by a hand's width, but I quite like that look. I don't think there's any need to shorten that. So I think this one's going to require a few dabs of green stuff here and there, and a little bit of work with the knife afterwards. So we'll come back to this one in a second. And basically repeat the process for the second one. We'll start with being quite savage, because I know where everything needs to be now. So I'm going to be quite savage with taking some of this off. And get right in there. And I'm going to try and carve in continuations of the sort of armor plates and the bottom of the glove and stuff. So I've got less work stuff, work to do with the green stuff. And so this time I've basically removed the entire hand and we're going to go for a slightly different technique. Okay, so again we've moved the, taken the detail off the back side. I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to glue this on before we put the hand back on, I think. So a bit of glue there, and then a little bit of glue on the side here. Pop that guy in a base while I'm waiting for that to set. Okay, so I've got the lower half there, the upper half. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on. And I'm going to attach that onto the hand now. I've got a lot less to line up with, so I'm kind of using the dots on the front of here and the similar ones on the hand part. Okay, so in a lot of ways this version, this was a lot less faffy. Uh, so now we've got the hand attached to the top of the halberd and the bottom of the halberd attached to the wrist. And I've just been filing down both parts uh, to try and make these join back together. So I'm going to take a little bit more off the, uh, off the halberd, I think, to try and get that to join back in. And there we have it. We're going to have something like that. So... A little dash of glue in there, and a dash of glue. Actually, I now I'm not going to concentrate on the wrist join here. I'm going to concentrate on, concentrate on making the halberd looks like it. it's one straight piece again. I know that this bottom bit is set enough that I can work on it. It's not completely set, so I can, there's still a little bit of give, so I can try and get the whole thing lined up. So yeah, let's check the. Axes again. So yeah, looks good there. Looks good there. And okay, for the third time we're gonna savage this one again. Get right in there. Grab my saw again and we're gonna take his hand off here. At the same time. And then we're going to put the whole new hand on and go for a pose, something like that. Okay, we're going to have to remove a little bit more from here. And once again, we use the saw so there's no surroundings to get damaged. So, dab glue on both sides. And scuff it about a bit. And we're less worried about getting everything straight this time. I'm more about making it look cool and natural. And I think that looks pretty spot on. I'm also going to give this guy a shield. So this is a shield from the same kit as all the weapons have come from. The... Uh, older Chaos Warriors. Looks like it's been glued to something before. Took this out of my bits box. Uh, I'm going to be quite liberal with the glue on the back of here. Partly because no one's ever going to see it. Partly because I'm not sure exactly which bits are going to connect. And we're going to rub that. Make sure we get any connection points. And then pose it how we see fit. Okay, that's stage one complete, and we've gone from this to these. Okay, I'm going to mix up some green stuff. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. So, I've actually kind of gone with the theme of the model. Instead of trying to do it subtly, I've just smashed at this uh, arm guard right around the other side there. So I've got my one, two, three bits of armour, and then my glove. And I think the trick is going to be to get the glove on the other one just quite far down. Cover a lot of sins with a nice smooth bit of green stuff there. And then I'm going to wait for these to cure. 
I'm going to file these out a little bit maybe. And it doesn't actually make sense in the scheme of the model. So this arm guard, nice and symmetrical. This one, crazy all over the place. But I think when you're looking at it straight on like this, it will do. I think it'll make visual sense if it doesn't actually make any sense practically. I think I'm relatively happy with the back of the glove here. So I'm going to compare this to the uh, an untouched one. So I'm just going to copy the line. Just draw that round. And then I'm just going to take the rubber tool and I'm just going to follow that again. And that'll just round off any sharp edges. Uh, so that's my last bit of green stuff. I've replicated the same sort of little armor joint as on the other ones. And I've extended his glove down on this guy. So, you know, and get that smoothed in there a bit better. But yeah, so, so that's all for my conversions with the green stuff on to start with. Uh, I'm going to wait till that cures. I'm going to go around with the knife and the file and sort of really neaten it up. So that'll be the, uh, the standard procedure of PDBA and a bit of sand. I've already gone around and uh, filed down the, all the green stuff parts that I did and sort of neaten them up a little bit. So just a little bit of a file around there and on the back there. Wipe off any excess, just pop them in the sand and then do it three more times. Here they are all finished up and painted the same way as I did the rest of their buddies in the speed painting Monopose Chaos Warrior video and I'm quite happy with them. And that's all for this video. Please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.